Hey, what's going on everybody? I just wanted to make a quick video about productivity and it has to do with sitting at my computer and having a single monitor and wanting to use it for multiple devices at the same time and being able to quickly switch between the two. Let's get into it. So if you're like me, you might have a monitor that handles multiple inputs, but typically you'd have to go to the menu and like hit a button on the a monitor, switch to the input devices and switch to the, the input you want to use. I actually wanted to hook up a laptop to the monitor and be able to switch from my main PC to my laptop with just a keyboard shortcut. I had to do a little research to figure it out, but here's what I came up with. First things first, you want to get auto hotkey because it'll let you write scripts that will control your computer which will come in handy. Once you get that installed, you wanna download the Control My Monitor app. You have to go to this site and scroll all the way down to here, click the download, it's a zip file. You're gonna need something to extract it. I use 7-zip. If you don't have anything, grab 7-zip. It works perfect. So when you installed Auto Hotkey, it created a folder in your documents. You can do this any way you want, but I'm gonna go over how I did it. Go to your documents, you'll see a folder called Auto Hotkey. Double click in there, copy that zip you downloaded, for the control my monitor into that folder. Unzip it in that folder. So you, it should create another folder called control my monitor and it will put the application in that folder. Next thing you need to do is write your script for auto hotkey. I use notepad plus plus to write my scripts, but you can use notepad or any other preferred application that'll do the job. Create a new text file in that application of your choice. And you're gonna write a code similar to what I have right here but you're going to change the directory to your username directory for your documents. Go ahead and run the Control My Monitor app and you'll get the information for your display and monitor numbers in there at the top. Also, you'll need to get the options for inputs. You should see it right here. In my case, I wanted to use my HDMI and DisplayPort, so it was 15 and 17. Also note, I set mine up to use Control V to switch to the first display and, and control B to switch to my main PC display, which is my display port. So that is what you're seeing in my code. You need to correct it to uh, whatever you want it to be. Once you create the file, make sure you name it uh, with the dot AHK. So it knows it's auto hotkey file. And once it's saved, you should save it to that auto hotkey folder that you extracted the control my monitor to. So right click that new file you just created, that AHP file, and you should have the option to run script. And once you do that, your script is active, so you should be able to hit the Control V, Control B to switch back and forth between the monitors. Once you've successfully pulled that off, if you're like me, you wanna be able to control both the laptop and your main PC with your main PC's keyboard and mouse. To do that, I installed Mouse Without Borders. So you grab that, get that set up, and it's a pretty simple installed on both devices. And you'll get a key that will allow you to sync them together. My system, it's all control and then F1, all control F2, to switch in between the two with your mouse. Voila, if I wanna switch monitors, I'm on my main PC. First, I wanna hit control V, which switches it to my laptop display. And then I'm gonna hit Alt Control F2 to switch my mouse and keyboard to that system. And then I'll be able to control the mouse and keyboard for the laptop and see it on my main display. And then if you want to switch back, I just hit Alt Control F1 to switch back to my main PC, the control mouse and keyboard. And then I'll hit Control B to switch back to my main display, my main PC display. And you can do this with uh, consoles as well. It'd be a little less, uh, less involved since you don't have to install mouse without borders since you have a controller that's hooked to the system and no need for that there's probably all kinds of things you can do with it i like it it's nice and easy it's my it's my jam right now so if you have any problems setting this up for yourself let me know in the comments and i'll try my best to help you out that's all for this quick little tip video hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you next time